What is up guys, this is Frostbite and I'm a new director for this channel. Uh, I don't know if this will be uploaded to Phaser Games or Phaser FNG, but whatever. You might be like, oh gosh, another new director, come on man. But I'm different and I'll show you why. One, I play on the PC and the PC is an awesome platform to play on and you should all try it if you have some spare money. Uh, yeah, and two, I live somewhere way far from where you're living right now. I'm assuming you live in the US or the UK, and I don't live in neither of those places, nor Canada. Uh, but I won't tell you, because, you know, I don't tell you my address, because, like, I don't want you to stalk me at night or something. But, and if you don't like Call of Duty, you're like, Oh God, sucks balls! Freaking noob games, blah 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 blah. I'm not a big fan of COD either, even though what you're seeing now is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'll explain, okay? I like the game actually. I'm a fairly new player. I started playing COD from Modern Warfare 2. I know like a lot of people started playing from COD 4, but whatever. And uh, I've always, I've always liked it. Uh, it was a good game. Modern Warfare 2 was awesome for me. Uh, there were almost no noob tubers on the PC somehow. Maybe all of them went to Black Ops. Yeah, but uh, Modern Warfare 3 was, um, well, let's just say it started to get a little boring for even a new player like me. A relatively new player. Especially during those last few months before a new COD comes out, in this case Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3 really starts to look a bit stale. I've been looking at the same 16 maps for like almost a year now, and I don't buy DLC because Mo Infinity War does not support PCs as much as the Xbox or the PS3 community, so we get like DLCs like two months later, which sucks. But, I'm not buying them anyway, I think it's like a waste of money, but that's another story. And there's just so many problems with the game, like, um, I'm not trying to offend the guys out there who just love this franchise, but it is true. Like, the hit detection and the overpowered weapons, you know, the Type 95, the, the FNG9 Akimbos, whoa. And, uh, once I went into a game where the whole other team was using... USAS shotgun and in the middle of the game I just rage quit I'm just I'm out of there like something I don't do often but it was just horrible but I'm not gonna rant here I'm just stating my opinions right so you know uh, you might be asking now why in the world are you posting uh, COD gameplay then like because one I don't have money alright I'm broke I'm not actually broke, but I don't have enough money to buy new games. Uh, but that's like whatever, it's my personal thing. But it's actually it's because I still find fun and value in the game. Fun is like yours to find in the game, right? And it's different for everybody. Uh, for me, it's just like taking it easy, sitting back, relax, eat popcorn. Uh, and you know, even though I may die more, right? Uh, and that kind of sucks, but I'll just shrug it off. Mm -mm, nothing happened. Because I don't really care about my KD. Uh, trolling people also helps. You know, it's always fun. I also have to mention that I suck at Call of Duty. Mm. As you can see from this crappy gameplay in the background, you see my deaths in the beginning. Ugh. They got less, I got less than 20 kills on Domination in this gameplay, but I, I've been kind of busy for the last few days, so couldn't really uh, play a lot, but this gameplay sucks, uh, even in my standards. And you're like, what the heck, this guy's on YouTube and he can't play well? Yeah, uh, I find that I can't get the, those uh, impossible triple mobs, moabs other youtubers get these days which is like everybody expects that because this community has risen to a level where I don't know a trick shot is not enough you have to do a backflip hundred thousand forty eighty 
spin claymore cancel whatever you know that shit <laughs> and um but I make up for it by changing up my commentary style so these uh, so the series I've planned for phaser games which is the network I'm on right now is not just a rambling commentary over a gameplay like I have now but I have thought of something somewhat more appealing at least for me I'm going to create a series and it's gonna be called Modern Warfare 3 worst case scenarios scenarios if you're in the US do you know the TV series uh, Man vs. Wild uh, like like with that um guy Bear Grylls you know the hardcore survival nature guy well, he got signed off with that TV network, but now he's doing another show called The Worst Case Scenarios. Uh, where he teaches you what to do in some really, really bad situations. Uh, you have to, like, have really bad luck to get into one of those situations. Like, for example, you get attacked by dogs on the street. Uh, or get chased by muggers, you know. Search it up if you want to know more. So I'll be making a version of my own using Modern Warfare 3 as the subject with an awesome Bear Grylls accent. He's got a British accent by the way and it sounds kind of funny. So it's gonna be that uh, once a week at least. Hope you like it. And that finished this, this video. Uh, if you liked it or you like me in some no homo way give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here subscribe to phaser games also please check out my channel and uh, my videos and subscribe there too if you like that yeah so peace out